All right, 619 the time. You're looking live at Catalina. Uh, we do have that marine layer out there to start your day overall. It's going to be so nice today and this weekend. I have a beautiful forecast for you. Our temperatures are running below average for this time of year, so we're a little bit cooler than we should be, and we have a nice uh, break from that extreme heat for the inland areas. It's 57 in Riverside and Temecula, 66 downtown, 65 in Camarillo. We have nice calm winds for most of you. Uh, winds were breezy up into Lancaster, Apple Valley, and Victorville. They settled down down a bit and now it looks like they're picking back up. So a little breezy in the high deserts over the next couple of days. We're starting to see visibility dropping in Ontario because of some patchy fog there along the coast looking fine. Downtown looking fine as well. Low pressure, this trough of low pressure to our north. It's continuing to deepen and that is uh, bringing this nice cooling trend. Temperatures will be below normal all the way through the end of the weekend. Come Monday into the middle of next week we're warming up and it's because of this area of high pressure that's going to start to strengthen over the area and it's not only going to warm, warm us up, it's going to increase our humidity as well, and we could even see some thunderstorms over the higher elevations as we head into the start of the work week. Highs today, lots of 70s along the coast, 70s and 80s for the basin, upper 80s and low 90s for the valleys and the Inland Empire. Not too many changes into tomorrow, so if you like today, uh, you're going to like tomorrow too. Great news, and then we'll warm up a bit. I think you'll notice some of those warmer numbers on Sunday, and then everyone is going to turn up the heat, increase the humidity to start the work week. Inland Empire, high deserts, triple digits returning for you. And thunderstorms possible over the higher elevations.